See, you don't see the good in Elon Musk. So maybe I need to highlight it. He's out here bringing computers to normies. Okay. Elon Musk made a surprise visit to an elementary school in Flint in Michigan on March 22nd of 2019. And he donated 423K to help give all seventh grade and eighth grade students a Chromebook laptop for next school year for their STEM education as a way to inspire young kids who are interested in science technology, all right? Not kids, you know, are interested in hippity hop, but uh, some science and some technology, the STEM. STEM is very important for a lot of people. I know you love, a lot of you guys, you normies don't know what STEM means, okay? But that's okay, you're gonna have to Google it since you guys don't know what it is and I'm gonna run this video. Elon Musk makes surprise visit to Flint School. Billionaire and CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, as he walked into a Flint school today, not only bearing gifts, but explaining why he became an engineer. It was the closest thing to magic that exists in the real world. Musk talked to students here at Doyle Ryder Elementary this morning, giving a presentation to Flint kids about his journey with science and what his company SpaceX has been up to. Musk brought some of his team members from Tesla, like senior engineer Markel Baldwin, to talk to students about the importance of learning science, technology. See, look, y'all kids paying attention, but they're laughing in the background. See, that's what's wrong with you busters. Y'all pay attention. Somebody coming to the school to teach you something, and you want to act like baby's kids. Pay attention. Look, look, look straight. Look straight engineering and math make learning fun because for me it was all about how do i have more fun and and i think that technology enables it musk announced that he will be giving some flint students the opportunity to visit spacex a company that designs manufactures and launches advanced rockets and spacecraft as well as a visit to the design studio at tesla in california and that's not all and next year, all seventh graders will be getting these computers thanks to Musk. And this is to help jumpstart the STEM education. So we got free trips to SpaceX down in Texas and free trips to the factory in Tesla. I don't know which state, but net net free trip, probably California back then. So there we go. And we got a bunch of laptops, not Apple, but OK, still cool. Chromebook, we'll take them. Lit Community Schools Superintendent Derek Lopez says in the 2019-2020 school year, they are launching their high-tech junior high school. And this event was to get students excited about STEM learning. We wanted to do something that was big to launch this for our kids and to make sure that they understood how important they are to us in this community. So what did the students think about this unexpected visit? See, let me know what the students say. Are they paying attention and are they excited? Mind blown and inspirational, according to Bria King. I think it was pretty awesome to meet somebody who actually designed rockets and get to be able to shoot them up in the sky. Today, <laughs> they get to shoot it up in the sky. So they only got a sound bite from her. Awesome. And then shooting these rockets up in the sky. <laughs> so hopefully she would be excited to focus on the STEM. They must love students with a piece of advice. Really uh, allow your, your curiosity to flourish. In Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5. The allow your curiosity to flourish, specifically with STEM, okay? We don't want to hear about coming out with the new album and all this other stuff. We don't care about that, all right? We don't care about your fashion. We want you to, you know, kind of use your STEM. Science, tech, engineering, mathematics, we need you. We need you to get in the game. So this was five years ago. It should not be posted. Nah, update is no problem. This is cool. Let me tell you, many kids get so excited when I tell them SpaceX is hiring. I even talked to a few that wanted to be engineers, so I pointed them to the job list on SpaceX, and they're in hope. There is hope, you all. Of course, there's a lot of hope. There's a future to be excited about. Y'all guys don't know this? I appreciate Elon Musk. This is a good guy. This is a good side that most of you guys will never see. Elon, the only dad in the room. <laughs> Facts of life. Now, remember this. If X were around, the people would have known about this. He's always trying to help. We appreciate you. Yeah, and there's other videos that I will show you guys where Elon's going to schools and teaching lessons attempting to help also attempting to restructure the education in the classroom 
and what kids are thinking about and how they're taught to think about things. And I think that the way he approaches a lot of problems and attempts to solve them is something is a skill set, at least that kids need to have and adults. It'd be great if adults can have it, but let's just start out with the kids. All right. Elon is a precious gift to mankind. I can proudly say he is my superhero as he is making a huge difference to the humanity. People have problems with it can go donate too, and see some people have issues about Elon's personal opinion. I just did the woke mind virus thing. For me, it's about your actions, right? There's a lot of things that's being done, whether it's actually in science, in engineering, or right here in education. This is a proper way to encourage future generations to work hard and study. And then maybe they can fix the pH levels in those water pipes. Definitely not. We're focused on rockets. So generous of Elon. How great for these kids. Yeah, I hope they were actually able to have a fun experience and know that the big homie Elon was in the building. I want to know, is there a list of all Elon's deeds such as this, large and small? He doesn't flaunt stuff like this, so it's easy to miss. I agree. A lot of things that he does, he doesn't, um, you know, nobody usually does it. A lot of people who are against showing off good deeds. Me, I promote it. I'm definitely, I love when people show off good deeds. But unfortunately, I think a lot of times people are discouraged of showing off good deeds because someone else is saying, well, you're doing it for the views. You're not doing it for the good deed. I do good deeds and I don't show them. And it's like, bruv, you complain all day, every day about there being negative media. The media is never positive. TikTok is a bunch of toxic garbage along with Instagram and Facebook. So when someone attempts to put good deeds into social networking or any of these platforms, now you're condemning them, saying they're doing it for the views. Even if someone was doing good deeds for the views, I'll be happy. I'll take good deeds for the views versus buffoonery and tomfoolery for the views. People are disturbing the peace acting like morons, performing pranks and et cetera for the views. So if we can get a generation that says, I want to do good deeds for the views only or for the views and to help or just to help, it's all good. So it's almost like we shoot ourselves in the foot and talk against the actual media and the type of image that we say we want to see. So just think about that, okay? Post good deeds. There's nothing wrong with it, okay? And I don't really care your purpose. At the end of the day, what matters to me is the end result. I see you guys on the next one. Like, share, subscribe. And Elon does commit good deeds, okay? So he's not so much of a bad guy. But you heard that from me. Obstacles to opportunity on the mainstream media. They're haters. Because everyone hates Tesla, according to them.